Hey everyone, today is Saturday, July 18th, and this is News from the Frunk. Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about the press announcement that happened yesterday. First was the new entry-level Model S, the rear-wheel drive 70 kilowatt hour car. Next was the new big battery, the 90 kilowatt hour battery. Third is ludicrous mode, and we'll talk a lot about that. Uh, and last but not least, hints of a new roadster to come in four years' time. So let's start out with that new entry-level car. When the dual motor variants were introduced, the old 60 kilowatt hour car, which was the entry level, uh, was discontinued and replaced by the 70, but you could only get it in the dual motor variant. Well, now there's a rear wheel only version. Uh, it's the new cheapest one you can get, a starting price of $70,000, which is $5,000 less than the 70D. Next up, the new big battery, 90 kilowatt hours. Now, this is an option. If you go onto the configurator, on the Tesla Motors website and you choose an 85 kilowatt hour car, you now have the option of adding an uh, extra range via the, replacing the 85 kilowatt hour battery with a 90 kilowatt hour battery. That will increase your range by about 6% or so. Now the reason why this has been introduced is it wasn't, I, I'm not sure whether it was said on the press, release, uh, press conference or not, but it looks like when the Model X comes out, and Elon said that is still uh, planning to be shipped in two months time, when the Model X, which is the big SUV, uh, when that comes out, that is going to have the 70 kilowatt hour and the 90 kilowatt hour batteries. So this is pre uh, preparing for that. Now Elon did say that the 90 kilowatt hour upgrade is available to existing owners, uh, certainly owners who've bought cars recently, but he said it's not really worth it. He didn't say how much it's going to be for existing owners. It's a $3,000 upgrade on new cars, but quite how much it's going to be for existing cars, we don't know. Um, and he said unless you are using the entire range of the battery every day, it's probably not worth upgrading. What he did say is, as we've discussed before, battery range is increasing at 5 to 10% every two or three years, and you will be able to upgrade your battery in the future. So it's probably worth holding off until it becomes either you really, really need to for, you know, because your battery is, is damaged somehow, uh, or because the, the economics work out that it now makes sense to get a 500 mile battery or whatever will be available, uh, who knows when in the future. Now then, if insane mode wasn't fast enough for you, we now have ludicrous speed. Prepare ship for light speed. No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're going to have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> so via some hardware upgrades, Tesla has now reduced the 0 to 60 time from 3.1, 3.2 seconds to 2.8 seconds. Now we really are in supercar territory now. It, it is just crazy how few cars in the world can get down to a 2.8 second 0 to 60 and certainly no sedans out there. We are talking Lamborghini Aventador, Koenigsegg, McLaren P1 territory. This, this is truly is ludicrous. So what do you have to do to get 2.8 seconds? Well essentially you need a P90D. Although the battery gives you more energy and this new ludicrous tweak gives you more power and speed it looks like you really need the bigger battery in order to be able to get that extra bit of speed. And so it's $10,000 for the P85D quote ludicrous upgrade, but you also need the bigger battery. So that's another $3,000, so a $13,000 upgrade. So what do you get for your $13,000? Well, you get 2.8 seconds, 0 to 60. The way they do that is uh, they're able to get more power out of the battery faster. So uh, the, as Elon described it, the, the limiting factor was a fuse that connects the battery to uh, the inverter and the motor. And that was limited at 1300 amps. They've now redesigned that, redeveloped it. It's now a smart fuse. It's got a microprocessor on it and uh, I don't know, craziness. And they've upgraded the main pack connector using Inconel, which is an aerospace alloy. So the ability to pump 1500 amps at what I assume is the traction pack voltage of 375 volts allows you 
to generate something like 560 kilowatts of power out of the battery. Now if you do the math, that's roughly 750-ish horsepower, and the new quoted spec for that P90D is uh, a grand total of 761 horsepower versus the old 691, so a 70 horsepower boost. Uh, so that's 259 horsepower in the front motor and 503 horsepower in the rear motor. Now what many people have experienced with the P85D is from 0 to 30 it is insane, it goes absolutely crazy. But then the acceleration begins to die off pretty quickly. This graph was done by Consumer Reports when they were doing back-to-back -back testing of the P85D with the Hellcat. And if you look at that graph, you can see that for about the first one and a half, 1.6 seconds, they are pulling one G and then it falls off dramatically. Well, 1.6 seconds is about when you get to 30 miles an hour. So certainly that graph agrees with what everybody seems to have experienced. What Tesla is now saying with the P90D with the ludicrous option, it gives you 1.1 G and that continues all the way up to 60 miles an hour. So you'll see that graph change pretty significantly in the future. So what does that mean? As Elon said on the call, it is faster than falling. When you nail it, you are going to pull 1.1 G all the way up to 60 miles an hour. You are traction limited pretty much all the way. And that is going to give you the 2.8 seconds to 60 miles an hour. Now, I said it was a $10,000 option. What Elon said was um, people who've bought the P85D in the last six months will be able to get that option for $5,000 as a retrofit plus labor. Now, Tesla is never very good with these communications. So in the configurator, it says you have to have the ludicrous mode and the battery. So if you do a retrofit, it's unclear as to whether the $5,000 would give you the new battery as well or not. And if it doesn't, do you really get the 2.8 or do you get something better than 3.1 but not quite as good as 2.8? it's unclear. So if you've got a P85D and you're interested in the performance boost, then get onto service as quickly as you can and find out exactly what that scenario looks like. And if you do find out, add a comment to this video because I would love to know too. Alrighty, a couple of other things that he mentioned. Uh, as I said earlier, the Model X is due to ship in uh, two months time. He said that it is working out that it's currently about 10% heavier than the Model S, and there will be a P90D variant. What it, whether it's going to be called P90D, we don't know, but there will be a variant that's P90D. And because it's heavier, it would have a 0 to 60 time of roughly 3.3 seconds. And then last but not least, um, Elon said there is only one speed faster than ludicrous, and that is maximum plaid. Baseball one. They've gone to plaid. Now, what is Plaid? Nobody knows, but he said it will only be available on the Roadster, which he said would be available in four years' time. Now, to the best of my knowledge, that's the first time he's ever come out with a date for the Roadster. So it looks like every couple of years we're going to be getting a new car. We've got Model X coming out in September. We've got Model 3 coming out roughly September, October of 2017. And so now we're looking at whatever the Roadster is going to be called in 2019. Nobody's even seen Model 3, so who knows what model, uh, what the new Roadster is going to be like, but it's going to be a pretty spectacular car. Okay, that's it for News from the Frunk today. We'd love to get your comments down below, and keep watching for more news coming soon.